Hey guys, JH, okay. Now guys, while I'm here, because we've been working on the shove, doing a little bit of shove, you get a real feeling of the shove with the extra momentum and throw out of a longer club like the driver. And what it does guys is it will give you a much higher requirement for maintaining the connection of the golf swing because the inertial throw out is much greater. It's going to want to drag your arm away. So if you can hit some little abridged, abbreviated little um, driver shots, I don't think you want to hit 100, 100 metres, 120 metres. But you want to really hit it solid, but off a little abridged, um, restricted golf swing in terms of shape. But the main thing is that we're we're getting here and we're going to fire that leg and we're going to throw it. Now, believe it or not, guys, I can actually hit a pretty decent drive off that little, that little golf swing. A pretty decent drive. It, it just gives you uh, more commitment to maintaining the connection. And just grip the driver down a little bit if you want to. You. Now guys, the same thing applies every time with every golf club. Now when I was fiddling with that wedge and I was saying that you have to bring the lead hand to the trail hand. Don't reach out for it. Now with the driver there's a huge temptation because it's a longer golf club. And we feel that normally we're always out here. But we're not. We're in exactly the same position with the driver as we are with a wedge or whatever. I never feel any different and I don't want to feel any different and I don't want to change the modus operandi of the process. The process I want to be exactly the same for wedge shots, whatever, chipping everything up to a driver. And the good thing about that guys is you don't have to think about when you're changing golf clubs. You know because, and it was interesting, I, I think I've said it before, but, but the great Sam Snead, and it was an amazing admission coming from him, he said he had two golf swings, one for his woods and one for his irons, because they were different requirements. The irons required a different golf swing for the woods. I think he was probably talking about the difference in uh, that the arms are away from the body. But you have to do that. And he's one of the greatest ball strikers of all time. Well, Peter Thompson said that, uh, in his opinion, he was a he was a better ball striker than Hogan as a ball striker. Not player, but he was a better ball striker. And Hogan and Peter Thompson said, well, he'd never seen anybody hit the ball better than Sam Snead. So for someone who was as great as Sam Snead and won, you know, won more tournaments than anybody, I think, didn't he? I think Tiger still hasn't beaten his record, I don't think. And for him to say, I have two goal swings. It shows the talent that guy had. But guys, I have one golf swing. And it's this one. So, in order to, to build in this shove factor, I just find it easier to do with a driver. Now here we are, here. And I'm just going to hit a little, what I call a little bunt. Now guys, there's a bunt. Now look at this finish here. Now that's carried about you know, probably 165 and straight as an arrow. It's, I tell you what, when you hit a shot like that, you think, wow, what a weapon on a tight hole. Because it's only going to go one direction, it's only going to go there. And, and that ran out, that ran out to probably, you know, two. 210. I mean, just, it was like a bullet. And look at that tiny little golf swing. But that was, a, that was a very aggressive shove. Very aggressive shove. Now that's right on top of the other golf ball. I mean, it's right on, it's running up to the other golf ball this far apart. And, and I've, I, uh, 
haven't hit, hit any shots um, today so I'm quite tight and stiff but that's really good so I'll really I'll really get the shove and I'll really get this going back and I'll get the the shove yeah see I'm lucky guys I can put that in my hand I can actually almost grab the club there easy because I've already got it here so but my buddy was here yesterday and he's saying well how do I get this over here I said, you've got to do that. You've got to bring it to it. You've got to bring the club to the trail hand. Bring the lead hand to the trail hand. I'm lucky I've got it here. Oh, guys, now that's carried... That's carried about 180. I'd say that club head speed would have been 75 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour at the most. But because the the transfer of energy is so great and the throw is so efficient with low speed, um, it's fantastic. I mean, I could play with that in the golf course. I mean, I mean when I when I'm on the golf course, I mean, I'll only carry it, uh, you know, 210. 220 anyway and run it out to maybe 250 meters so um, so that's not far behind and that probably ran up to probably 235 with that tiny little golf swing I can hit it further than that that to 220 carry if I wanted but I, but I don't I mean basic, basic time I I try and put the same swing on everything unless I got a big wide open golf course and then I'll take it back and put my long drive swing on it which is just a bit of fun. So here we are, guys. Look at this, I've gone right around, but I've maintained the connection. Now there's a there's a sign up here, there's a it's a 260 yard sign, and there's a tree. And the tree is about 20 feet to the right of the 260 sign. That didn't get to the 260 sign, but it was all those three shots were within that that corridor. I mean, I could I could hit them within that 20 20 yard corridor. I mean, they just do that. That's how straight it is. It's extraordinary. But this is the way you learn it, guys. That's how you can learn a lot of shove. Now, there's a lot of momentum there, and it'll pull me through more. But but you're getting this. You're getting the kickback, and we're getting the shove. It's like bowling alley golf. No golf course in the world you couldn't play that with. That golf course, that Hamilton Island golf course in Australia, you know, where the fairways are just like that and everything slopes off. If the ball misses the fairway, you're dead. Or Cape Kidnappers in New Zealand. You know, there's, there's, either, there's a fairway or death, both sides. They just roll off. They're not very wide. This swing for that golf course, whew. So, guys, that's what I call the... Uh, The little abbreviated, the little abbreviated uh, shove with a driver really teaches you. I mean, that's really peculiar. To do that but that teaches you that type of commitment so you can do it and not only that guys it'll give you a a shot in your armory that you've never had before if you if you've got a really tight fairway and you never hit driver on it you can hit it because this will run it okay i'll try and hit a full shot not a full shot but 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 not a half shot with the shove. It's pretty good.
Wow, I just threw that. I just threw that away. That's a bullet. That's rolled up to that sign. Just rolled up to that sign. So what is the swing going to look like when it's finished? It's not finished, but what's it going to look like? I hope it'll look like this. That's what I hope it'll look like. And they're just little throws, like that. It's amazing that you can hit the ball with that little golf swing. Well, I'll get a lot of kickback this time. It's a lot of kickback. Look here, guys, look. A lot of kickback. The arms are here. Throwing back. Throwing back. Okay, guys, just wanted to uh, to show you what you can do with the driver. If you want to. If you get bored hitting little shots, just hit a couple of little drivers. You know, grip it down to here. Don't to hit full drivers, but that inertia will teach you to control the throw out and keep you back here. Okay, guys, just another little drill aspect.